Hello everybody. Uh, after I see students uh, very easily solve UQ problems with the help of the equation uh, using this equation and UQ equation, which is very common. Record. Yes, we all usually do it. But, uh, and they say graphical representation, which is from the professors or you know, me as a teacher, I've done it. But uh, we hardly show them how to actually, uh, uh, I mean, how could uh, they represent this solution, like of a lot of quantity, using the graphical representation. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to do just see how actually we can represent the answers that we usually saw with the help of this equation. So let's start here. Uh, we all know those who are familiar with EQs, we all know about this equation. Here, as you can see, Q is the optimal amount of quantity, and that is what is unknown here. D is the annual demand, material cost is C here, and S is the ordering cost, and H is usually uh, the holy cost, uh, which is usually a fraction of the material cost. And then we have this total cost formula, and we usually, yeah, we all know that U of Q uh, usually is found where both the ordering cost and OD cost become same. Okay, so that's what we're gonna see uh, whether we can come up with that diagram. Okay, that we usually see uh, teachers draw, but we don't know how actually they will. Uh, I mean, to write this uh, diagram of U. So let's try to just do it today. Now, uh, first of all, I will try to just write the quantities here. Okay, Let's see quantity. Uh, Two hundred and fifty is the annual demand. Uh, let's just take five quantity five. Then let's just make this pattern okay, and go up to 250 you can do it using focus like this you have to just focus the sequence keep the sequence and accelerate to the rest okay so 250 here quantity and let's try to see our ordering cost here what would be the ordering cost in this case Cost, right? So we can use that formula. The first part of it, this is the ordering cost, which is d by q multiplied by s. So d is this. D by q. Uh, we can actually, uh, since we use this cell again and again for all other quantities too, we can make that. Make it absolute here, okay? Divide it by Q, and the quantity is this. This is where we would find the optimal size. So, F4, not F4, because this doesn't get the absolute sign, because we usually get them again and again. I mean, we have to you do you use the same form for others too. So this doesn't get an absolute sign here. And multiplied by S, the ordering cost, which is this. Okay, and we can press F4 and make it absolute because we'll use the same again and again for all other uh, values here. Anyway, of quantity. 
Now press and you'd find the ordering cost here. Okay, for this is ordering five of these products. And you can see it's a whole lot of money there. Uh, but uh, now let's try to find the same for the whole cost too. Uh, use the same formula. Not the same way. Uh, to find holding cost. This is the holding cost here. Okay. Q by 2. Now, what is Q here? Our Q is this. Okay. Divided by 2. I multiplied by 8C. So you can see here this is the holding cost fractions okay we will make it absolute because we we'll use this sale again and again for all the quantity that we have here and then multiplied by C holding cost here oh sorry C here is the materials cost so let's just pick that one and make it absolute too okay. press enter and you get a holding cost holding cost of holding five quantity in the uh, five quantity of this part okay. now what is the total cost then total cost is usually ordering cost plus holding cost okay i'm ignoring the materials cost here because it doesn't usually vary uh, when the quantity i um, mean yeah, I mean, uh, annual demand stays the same, and since here the cost is fixed, it's not gonna increase as the quantity increases, uh, the materials cost of decrease, uh, it stays the same. So we need to ignore this uh, materials cost here. Now, let's add this to this plus this, so that will give us the total ordering and holding cost. Okay, now let's see at what block size both ordering costs and holding costs becomes the same all we can uh, have to do now is to just copy and paste this thing for all these quantities and you don't have to do a thing and there you go get everything here and where is that uh, optimal block size it will be there if at a place where the total cost will be minimum so let's try to find the total minimum cost we can use uh, conditional formatting to find it okay you can select this particular column and then let's see use conditional uh, formatting to find the lowest uh, value for us we can do it manually too, but uh, to make it fancy, we use this. Uh, so here you go, bottom 10 items, but we don't need bottom 10 items, we need bottom 1 item, the only one. Okay, and uh, yeah, we do this one. Press, and here you go. This is place where the total cost is minimum and as you can see both ordering cost and holding cost become same at this point and that means this is the lot size I should order that is 100 okay so our optimal order quantity should be 100 here okay now how can we we still uh, we haven't yet shown this thing in the form yeah so the diagram so let's try to show the diagram in this case you select everything here okay go to insert and then you can select the scatter plot and usually we select this one to show and present this relationship press it and you get a diagram like this see it's not quite clear here from here uh, on this diagram 
we can name it YouTube whatever you like but let's just try to first uh, make it bigger to get a clear picture of what has actually happened here so this is the YouTube one see you make it bigger and you get a better picture and you see this is the point this is the point where both this is this is the holding cost okay this orange line and this is the line which is the blue one is the ordering cost and they both meet at a point okay and, and as you can see this this part is the your quantity and this is where 100 where they both the lines interest intercept and this is the place where the total cost is minimum too so this is how you can actually create your queue i mean show your result of your queue uh, in diagrams okay so thank you hope you understood and if you have any questions and queries please contact uh, uh, just leave me a message and i'll reply to you thank you thank you everyone.